Hey everyone, welcome back to um, working with this utility knife design. In the last video, you saw how to create mechanical features in a, with a sculpted body. Um, today, I'm going to talk about how to uh, model with existing uh, data sets or imported data sets that you already have, that you imported, that you want to import into an existing design to keep going. Um, so I'm really gonna later on import a blade cradle and then start using the blade cradle to make the opening for the little um, little toggle to push the blade in and out. Uh, we're gonna model the blade and uh, yeah, we're gonna go through all that in this video. So let's get started. Um, so if I go over to my browser here, I'm gonna turn on my sketches and uh, make sure all the sketches are on and you'll notice that yeah we have a profile for the blade we have some profiles for the finger choils our yeah, um, aesthetic features at the handle we're going to concentrate on the blade so we're going to we're going to model the blade uh, easy way to do that right now is let's turn off one of the bodies the left the right side or no right yeah the right side body here so i can better see the blade here uh, now i'm going to just going to click on the profile and then right click and go to extrude this is going to pull up the extrude command and here I'm going to set my distance to actually before I set my distance I'm going to go to um, symmetric for my direction because I want the blade to be symmetric um, when I extrude it and since it's symmetric I'm going to change the distance to 0 0.5 which makes a total of a one millimeter thick blade um, it's gonna think that I want to cut again because it's going, it's uh, con uh, it's um, contacting with another body. But I'm gonna change the operation to new body, and then I'm gonna say okay. And now we have our blade body. So before I do anything else, I'm actually gonna make my cut um, with the uh, left side handle here because this part is. Um, kind of overlapping the the uh, the handle. So, going to modify, clicking on combine. Uh, the target body is going to be the handle. The tool body is going to be the blade. My operation is going to be a cut. This time, I want to keep the tool because I need the blade. And I'm going to say OK. So now my body is cut and everything is everything is just dandy. <laughs> so now uh, I want to make the cutting edge and this is going to be a, uh, a single cutting edge instead of a double cutting edge. Um, so to do that I'm actually going to sketch it. I'm going to go first go to look at in the navigation bar and I want to look at the f this, this front surface of the blade uh, dead on. So this will give me a good view of where to sketch and whatnot. So now I'm going to go to the line command and sketch. I'm going to click on that face as the plane I want to sketch on. And then I'm going to just pick a point along the left edge here. And then I'm going to drag it all the way down to the bottom right uh, vertex. And then click and then click. And then I'll have my line and I'm going to stop sketch. So now I have my cutting uh, edge uh, sketch done. And what I want to do now is do a sweep along the bottom path. And we have the tool just for that. <laughs> so if you go to create and select the sweep command, um, we're going to then it's, uh, select the profile, which is going to be that the area you want to cut out. So this triangle, and then the path is going to be um, this this bottom edge here. So if I click that, it's going to cut that whole uh, part out. So perpendicular cut, yeah, that's what I want. Click OK, and now we have our cutting cutting edge. So that's that's really how you would do it for the blade, and I think we're pretty set for the blade. Um, yeah. So now um, I'm gonna turn my I'm gonna turn no actually I'm gonna leave that body off, and I'm gonna turn the sketches off. Now what I'm gonna do is insert a part that I downloaded from GrabCAD, um, and it's already a part pre-made of the blade cradle. Um, I've already uploaded it to my account, so uh, I'm gonna go over to my data panel here. And uh, you can see the blade cradle file right here. Um, the way you would upload, just a quick summary, is you would hit the upload button. It would then ask you to um, select a file or drag a file here. Then you can just find it on your computer. Uh, and then uh, you can click upload and it'll upload. So 
if you want to insert a design into your existing design, you just hover over to the, the data, uh, the file, and click insert. And now this is going to download the document from your account um, and insert it into the file, just like that. So the good news is I've positioned this data already before in a previous uh, project to be right where I want it. So right now it's all positioned in the right place and just click OK. But if you ever needed to position that, you could, you could have done it right there with those manipulators. Um, but now I have my, uh, my blade cradle. And now let's turn on uh, the other, the right side handle. And you can see now this, uh, this, this toggle, the switch, uh, in out switch is protruding, which is good. And that's exactly what we want. But now we want to use the blade, blade cradle to, um, to cut the opening of the, the switch. And this is where this is where top-down modeling really comes in handy. So let's let's do that. Um, let's close the data panel for now, and uh, let's uh, zoom in a bit more so we know what we're looking at. And um, let's convert these bodies, these three bodies, into components. So I'm going to select all three of them by holding down Shift, and then I'm going to right-click and say Create Component. So now these are all components. Um, now I'm going to rename these so I know exactly what I'm looking at. Um, blade, blade Cradle is already renamed. Um, this is the right handle. Uh, this is the blade. And this is the left handle. Not There you go. Yes. All right. Um, so I'm actually going to hide the left handle so you can kind of see the internals of it and it just works that um, my webs fit the, the cradle nicely. Um, now I'm going to um, gonna, I'm gonna, since this is going to be the open position, I'm going to go to construct and put a axis through the cylinder, through this, uh, the toggle cylinder here. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that later. Um, I'm going to turn on construction so I can actually see it. There you go. So now we have a, we have an axis through that. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, actually use a couple joints, uh, right now to, to define some of the position. Uh, of my blade and uh, cradle. So I'm going to hover over to assemble and go to as built joint. What this is going to do is it's just going to assemble the parts as is in the position that it is in. So first I'm going to do um, the blade and the cradle and uh, this type is going to be a rigid. So that's it gives you a little preview of what that rigid, what that, type, what that um, joint type is and click OK. And now I'm going to do a, another as-built joint, but this time I'm going to join the cradle with the handle, and this is going to be a slider instead of a uh, an rigid joint. And I'm going to use the bottom edge here of my web as the um, the reference to where my where my cradle is going to slide. So if I click that, it's going to give you a preview of how my cradle is sliding. And yep, that's exactly what I want. I'm going to say OK. Uh, now uh, I can now move this cradle, um, but if I move it, uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be sliding the way I wanted. So before I move it, I'm actually going to ground the handle because uh, then that will, that will make sure that my handle isn't moving and everything else um, will be will move the way I want it to move. So uh, let's go to my right or yeah right handle in the browser, right click and say ground. So now my my uh, handle is ground and uh, I can move now if I click this switch, I can move this um, back and forth. Uh, because based on the slider joint that we did, so uh, let's let's do that again. Let's hover over. Let's I mean rotate over here, and then let's see it on the inside. Great. So now let's uh, let's make it go inward so that the blade isn't protruding. So let's just say like right here, right? I'd say like here would be the good place um, to have it not protrude. And uh, now, 
we have uh, we have the cylinder still poking out, which is great. But we also have this um, snapshot position um, little icon that that pops up because the, it recognized that I've just moved a component, and it's asking me if I want to take a snapshot of it or revert to my original. I'm actually going to take a snapshot of it because this is going to be my my um, inward position, my blade in position, and uh, I take a snapshot. Uh, so uh, it remembers in the timeline. And I'm going to put another axis through this cylinder. So uh, axis through the cylinder, and click the cylinder, and now have two axes. Not sure if you know where I'm going with this, but I'm actually going to use those two axes and project its position onto a sketch plane so I can sketch out the, uh, the, the slot. So really, based off of the, the position of my switch, I can start modeling the the opening the opening slot for the the on and off position which is pretty neat um, so let's do that uh, let's go to sketch and let's go to project uh, project include in the project command and uh, we're going to let's see now we're gonna hide the right handle and we're gonna turn on the left handle uh, and uh, we're going to, actually, we're going to hide both handles. Let's just hide both handles. And we're going to project it onto the origin plane, this, this origin plane here. Uh, and again, if it's not selecting properly, you can either zoom in, zoom out, um, or, or you could do the hold. Uh, hold, click hold and choose from the, the uh, option dialog. Um, so I'm going to hover over to my first uh, axis here. As you notice a little red dot, which means it's going to project that dot onto the plane that I just chose. So I'm going to click this one. Oh, I'm going to click. Wait, what just happened here? Huh, it didn't project. Okay, let's try that again. Let's do stop sketch. Uh, let's do stop sketch and then let's do a project, project. Uh, this is going to be the plane I want to project on. This is not visible. Oh, okay. <laughs> didn't turn my. Um, didn't turn my. No, my construction planes are on. Oh, okay. It's a sketch. That's right. Ha. <laughs> there you go. All right. That. Um, now let's let's pick it for this. There you go. Okay. Great. Now we have our two points, and sometimes you know those error messages help you a lot, <laughs> like it just helped me. Um, so now I'm going to create the two circles. I'm going to go to sketch center diameter circle. It's going to snap onto the point, which is great. I'm going to pick. Um, this looks like to be. Uh, let's just give it a little more tolerance. So let's give it a 6.2 uh, millimeters. So that one there. 6.2 millimeters there, press enter, and then let's right right click, repeat center diameter hole, and then another 6.2 millimeters here, enter, enter, and now we have our two holes. Now we're going to hide the blade cradle so we see our holes, and then we're going to click line and make concentric lines, going connecting the two circles like that. Make sure you see that little circle pop up when you do it. You see that circle. And I see that circle, and now I have my concentric lines. Awesome. All right. So now let's stop sketch. Let's turn the uh, right handle on, and uh, let's um, let's swivel over here. Let's hide our blade. Actually, we don't want to be cutting our blade there. And uh, let's select the holes profile this oops this profile this pro well, not this line but this profile and then uh, let's see this profile and uh, we're just gonna do a cut so press pull all the way and now we have our cut. And again, this cut is based off of the position of my uh, cradle switch. So if we turn back, turn on our cradle, turn on our blade, turn on our left handle, and hide the sketch, you can see now uh, that this was this was designed purely based off of the uh, cradle. 
Let's hide our construction plane and uh, let's drag this outward like here. And uh, what we can do now is actually make the cuts, the, the appropriate cuts to the opening. So um, let's do a snapshot. Let's do modify, combine. We're going to cut the uh, right handle uh, with the cradle. Uh, and then we're going to do a cut. We're going to keep the tool and say OK. And uh, let's see. Let's, I think... I think we got to do it for this side too, so let's do that again. Repeat. Target body is the left handle. Tool body is going to be the cradle. Uh, and then it's going to be a cut, keep tool, and OK. And uh, yeah. Now we have a nicely put together uh, and mechanically, mechanically realistic uh, utility knife cutter utility knife that now can be manufactured well soon to be manufactured it's not quite done yet but can be so there you have it um hopefully that was really helpful for you to understand a bit more about how uh fusion 360 can uh how you can use Fusion 360 for top down design uh, and again if you needed to make changes to the size of the uh the slot here uh with where it is it's all doable through the timeline go back to the to the feature that you needed to make a change and then um, everything should update uh, so yeah uh, again if you have any questions let me know uh post a comment in the comment section and yeah talk to you guys later thanks